Hi there beautiful Thrivers! Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today we're going to be doing our WTF Wednesday weekly tracking of finances. So thank you guys for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope your week is going well. First off, I just want to thank you guys for being here with me today. Um, before I get started with it, I do want to uh, water my plants so that they stay alive. These are the first plants that I have ever kept living for any length of time. Go me. Alright, so this is actually the succulent food. I'm supposed to do this once a month. Um, I just haven't done it in a while, so I got this when I bought this, and I did ask her if it would be good for orchids and stuff, and she said, absolutely, it's just fertilizer water. It smells like, you know, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I am going to water them. I'm just going to put a little bit down here for this one so it can soak up. Let me see what I've got going on in there. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just let her soak that up at her leisure. That's chaos. Wait, no, that's thrive. And this is chaos. All right. So <laughs> let's water chaos. I've got, I, I just put a little bit in here so that I didn't, you know, use too much. But I give her a little bit and I will save the rest. I do have some other orchids that my hubby bought me so I will go water them after this video with the rest of that. Okay, look at me go. <laughs> it can be done. I can keep plants alive. Knock on wood. <laughs> All right, so before we get started with this video full swing, let me go ahead and grab today's prompt -a card If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt -a card It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video, and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. Just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So today's prompt -a card is, what bad habits do you wish you could stop? I have several bad habits. Um, let me just pick one. I have a bad habit of, how do I put this? Putting off cleaning until it's necessary to clean. Does that make sense? Like it gets out of hand and you can no longer ignore it. Or we have company coming and I have to clean. Um, I'm really bad about it. I just, I don't know. I don't want to clean every day. Um, especially like when you clean a, a spot, an area, and then you walk away and it's still clean the next day. So it's easy to just like leave it be for a while until it's just, you can no longer ignore it anymore because it's gotten messy again. That's a really bad habit. I would love to break actually, because it would be nice to just have my house clean at any point and not have to do it real quick before company comes or because it's just gotten so bad. Um, that's, that's a habit I would want to break. What about you? What habits, what bad habits do you wish you could stop? Let me know in the comments below. All right, today it's WTF Wednesday and we are working on this past week, the 13th through the 19th. Um, if this is the first time ever watching one of my WTF Wednesday videos, this is what I like to do every week. I just track all of our expenses to make sure that I'm accounting for everything that we have spent in all ways. That includes bank spending, what we use with our debit card, credit card spending, which is our gas for my hubby, cash spending, and our bills that are all on auto pay. So all of these things I want to track and make sure everything is accounted for, paid back if it needs to be paid back, bills have come out the way that they're supposed to, and so that we can get a full accounting of how much we have spent in the past week, which I feel like was a lot. I, I'm not even kidding. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with that. We're going with black and green. Okay, I'll start with bank spending. 
Now, we had a bunch of small little purchases um, of groceries, so it's going to look like a lot. Hopefully, I can fit it everywhere, but um, they're just small little purchases, getting this, that, the other, so <laughs> it's going to look like a lot, I promise. There's going to be a lot of writing in this video. Okay, I'm going to start on Wednesday. We did get a little bit of groceries there. 46674 so we're going to round that up to 67 which means our change is 26 cents which we're adding to our save the change challenge which just goes to fund my account buffer all right next up i'm going to do peach pass that came out for 20 Another grocery, this one was actually going out to eat. This was not going to the Publix. So 148 rounded up. It was originally 147.94 just for a family of five. Yep. And then we did hit the grocery store um, that was right next door so that we could pre-plan uh, the next day's dinner. Um, I don't know why this is three separate transactions. I don't know because my hubby went. Uh, I don't know if he forgot things and went right back to it. I'm not exactly sure what his plan was. And I apologize if you heard my dog. Um, so that one was 65 cents. Don't even know what that $3 was for. The next one, I'm going to have to put this on the next day, um, was 20 no. 30. It was 29.15. So that's 85 cents. Then we had another grocery. All of these were on the same day, same time. So this was 33 rounded up. So 33 minus 32, 39. So that's 61 cents. We're adding to our save the change. And then on Sunday, we did do a little bit of out and about. I'm taking it from groceries because it was food. Um, 24 even on this one. And then I'm going to do another one. Just this, this is coming from groceries. And that was for 16 rounded up. So it was 15.08. So it's 92 cents there. Um, we went to, a, we unintentionally went to a festival. We were trying to do our morning date, our breakfast date, me and my hubby. And there was a festival in the square that we, of the little town we went to. So we ended up just walking around, getting some stuff. Like it just, it turned out to be something that we didn't expect. But I'm taking it from groceries because it was like Korean corn dogs at the thing. And there was a uh, frozen grapes, candied grapes or something. I don't know. We're just walking around. We're having a good time, not even thinking about it. Um, on the next day, this is also going to come from groceries. Um, this was actually another eat out session. So that's 129. And that was 128.47. So 53 cents in the bank. Also on Monday, my son went and got his hair cut. So this is going to be coming from self care. It was 25 even for that. Now moving over to the 19th, we did have some more grocery purchases. This was 124 rounded up. I think grocery purchases is probably our main expense in life, and it is just so much. Um, I don't know. I don't really know how to curb that because we we went and bought a bunch of meats and stuff from like Sam's, and but we didn't buy like the things that we need for actual meals to make out of those things so um i would have to need like so we made a roast on sunday so we needed um i think i ended up getting this somewhere around here but we needed or maybe it was this and it just came out monday but we needed no that was a eat out i don't know anyway one of these here is from when we went and got like the stuff to make roast so we had potatoes we had to get the beef broth all of the things um that i put into it to make a nice roast um yeah so that's that but luckily that's the last one um next one is mental health and this is coming from that envelope my daughter had her appointment 
And then for, uh, I did pay another bill. So this is going to be coming from health savings and that was 105. It was a dental bill even. So that will do it for bank spending as if that wasn't enough. But let's go into gas now. My hubby uses a credit card for his gas purchases. He travels quite a bit for his job all over the state of Georgia. And so that requires a lot of gas. So we've just gotten a credit card that will help us build our credit and earn cash back because it is a cash back credit card, which I should totally cash out. I'm curious on how much it is right now. Let's look. I'm at about $178 in cash back rewards. So that's pretty awesome. I'm thinking what I might do is, because I think, I don't know, I've never cashed out before. This is our first credit card in over 20 years. But um, I think that it just applies as a credit. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. But I think that it applies as a credit onto the credit card itself. And then um, that that is considered your cash back. So I think what I would do is on the, like cash it out when I know we're about to get paid. And then the 250 that I would have put into gas, I would subtract whatever that cash out was from there and put that somewhere else. That way, you know, I still get that cash. I don't know. You guys let me know. How does it work? <laughs> I, I will eventually figure it out myself, but if you can give me a heads up, that would be great. All right, now let's get on to these gas purchases. So on the 15th gas, that was for 33, it was 3201, so that's 99 cents. Then on the 18th, got gas, and that was for 28, and it was 2701, 99 cents. All thanks to the hubby, we are getting some mega change in our Save the Change Challenge, because here's another one. For gas, for 46, it was 4501, so 99 cents. I swear, I think the gas companies are doing this on purpose, so that you never get it on the dot, hardly ever, and they nickel and dime you. <laughs> It shouldn't be that hard to just stop when you want it to stop, but it is. All right, so that is it for the gas of this past week. So we're pretty much done laying that out. What I'm going to do next, um, actually, let's go ahead and do some math really quick and get that handled and out of the way. Let's start with bank spending. We can go ahead and total that out. Everything in black is what we spent from our bank, so let me add that up. So that is a total of $789 that we've spent from our bank account this past week. And then for credit card, everything in green is $107. And then cash spending we'll get to a little bit later, but for save the change, that's everything in this column. Let's add it up. So we have managed to save this week $7.29 towards our account buffer by just rounding up. So now what I'll do is take a few minutes of my time, put on these squares so that I have a little checkbox and I'll set everything up and we'll start pulling some cash. All right, so we've got a lot to pull today. Let's go ahead and add up all of these groceries. I already know it's way more than what I have in my groceries. So we are definitely going to be leaning on our cost of living envelope on this one. So 67, 148, 3. 30, 33, 24, 16, 129, 25, 124, and that's it. So 5.99. Let me double check this. 5.74. That is right. I already calculated all of that up and it didn't match what I had already calculated. So that's why I had to do it again. Okay, so we're taking 574. What I have in groceries is 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40. So 440, we're going to take all of that 
That leaves a 134, so we're going to jump back here to my cost of living, my backup plan. We're going to take 134. I'm going to take the smaller bills because I can. 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 95, 100. All right, let's do 120, 30, 5. So we owe ourselves a dollar. But let's give this a quick count, make sure we've got everything. It should be, I think we said 574. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 40, 60, 75. Perfect. So we do owe ourselves a dollar. I'll put it right here. We'll check off all the other ones. That way I don't forget to get change. Okay, so all the groceries is taken care of. That leaves 110, 25, 35, 45, 50, 70. Alright, that's why it's here and I'm glad it was. Okay, um, let's see. Next up, let's go to... It might be gas. Let's do gas. We already calculated that. That was 107. So 50, 100, and 10. So I owe myself $3. We'll put that right here. But we'll check off this one and this one. 50, 100, and 40 is what we have left. For next week. Okay, the next one we spent out of was self care for haircuts. My son got a haircut and it was 25 even. So 25 there. That leaves 20, 35 for haircuts. Next one we spent out of was. Peach pass. So we're going to take a 20 from there and it'll leave 40 in there. And I think that's it. I think that's all we spent out of there. And then we did have some cash purchases, bleh, purchases right there. So we'll calculate that in a minute. Okay, now let's take care of mental health for 65. So 50. 60 and 5. And that means we still have three appointments here. That's good. And then health savings. We spent 105 on a dentist bill. Let's see. Do I have a 5 in here? Yes. So I'll take this 5 here and I'll take 100 for medical bills. So that's 105. Okay, so that's everything except for the change that we owe, which is $4. So I just need a 5 and we'll exchange this using my $1 savings challenge. This envelope has seen it better days. But basically, just taking five ones, one, two, three, four, and five, and we'll put this five in here with these ones. A good way to condense these bills. Okay, so now that we have change, let's go ahead and put that one dollar back into groceries. It actually should go into cost of living, but I don't care that much. And then we have three that's going to gas. So let's put that back. So now we have taken care of the change for both of these and we're done collecting. But we did have some expenses here, so I'll pull this. And these are the only two that we actually spent out of with cash. Let me grab my marker here. So in health, we spent 100, 
this was actually not like a medical bill. I had to go get birth certificates for all my kids because my daughter, congratulations to her. She got her license finally. So she is now an official driver, but I had to go and get all the birth certificates. I actually just needed to get hers, but I was, I couldn't find my other kids. I have no idea where it's at in this house. It's not where I have always kept it. So I don't know. I think the last time we had to use them was when we went on a cruise and where they went from there, I don't know, which is concerning, but they're around here somewhere. I just don't know where exactly. So I just went ahead and got all the kids birth certificates and then some. So I, I didn't know where to pull it. So I took it from health savings. And then for this one, we spent 200 in groceries. This was actually when we went on our date because that was what I took with me. Not expecting that we'd actually end up buying more because I ended up buying a bunch of stuff at the festival. I just can't help it. I can't resist festivals. So in total, we spent 300 in cash here. So I'm going to write that down, which means we also did not take anything from my count buffer, which is nice. Let me pop these back in so that they are ready for the new week. And this is just how I track our cash spending. When we pull out of an envelope from a binder, we write it back here. And each binder has its own. Just a good way for me to keep track of that. All right, so before I move on, let's just find out how much we spent in all ways. We spent $789 from our bank, $107 on the credit card, and $300 in cash. That makes it a total of $1,196 that we spent this past week. It feels like way too much, but I think it's pretty normal for this family. So, yeah, we're right on track. All right, let me take a few minutes to make my thumbnail, the one that you've already seen, that maybe got you to click on this video, possibly. All right, so now I'm going to put the money in their respective envelopes in my bills binder here. So I have one for credit card and one for back to my bank. So for credit card, we are going to be adding to it $107. This is basically what I do for the credit card. I just take out each week what we spent. And then at the end of the month, I put it all in the bank and I pay the entire credit card off before it's due on the second of the following month. So that's just how I'm doing it. It's making sure that we're paying that off every month so that it builds our credit and doesn't go against us because I am really terrified of that happening. So we owe one, 107. I need $3 back. I don't know if I have $3 in here, but let me look. We have two. Nope, we do. We have three. Perfect. So I'll put this 110 in here. So in total, just to make sure I have the right amount, we should have 173, 85, and 107, 365. So 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 50, 65. We're right on track. And the mailman came by, so the doggies are going to bark. It is what it is. That is the nature of having animals. You can't predict. All right, so that is credit card. We just let that build through the month. We will deposit that probably after next week, I think, because that's the last week of the month. Yes, so we'll deposit that next week and then pay that credit card right off. All right, the rest of this goes into my back to the bank. It should be seven eighty nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty. 670, 690, 710, 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So 789, that's perfect. That'll go right back to my bank to rebuff up that account buffer for a new week of spending. Okay, so now I'm going to transfer these numbers into my main budget book just so I have everything together. I'm not flipping between two different books if I'm, you know, trying to close out a month or something. So let's transfer these numbers really quick and then we can retire this one for a new, another week. All right. Bank spending, we spent 789 credit card, 107 
and 300 in cash. We did manage to save 729, which is awesome. All right, 1824 and 789. Our running balance is 2613 from our bank. 258 and 107. That's 365 we have put on that credit card. And then 170 plus 300. So in cash, 470. And the total that we have saved so far this month is $15.78. That's awesome. And now I'll retire this book for another week and you'll see it again next week. <laughs> like always, I hope that this helps keep you inspired. It definitely keeps me inspired to do this every single week. All right, so we are done with this portion. Now we need to get into my bills. What has come out this past week? Let's get into it. We had another, the second YouTube, which is actually my son's YouTube, $13.99 come out. We had our water come out, and finally, we are back down to what it originally used to be. Thank the Lord. I don't know what happened. We haven't fixed anything. There, I mean, we did fix a leak, but that was several, like three months ago, maybe, or two months ago. Um but it's finally back down to normal. Yay! Whatever we did, it worked. For internet, it was 106.98, so that came out the way it was supposed to, and that's the only three bills that have come out this month. So, I mean, so far, this past week, okay? So we still have these two, this one, which I don't know where you are and why you haven't come out yet, but should be soon. And then, um these four. So once those come out, we'll be done with this month's bills, but let's go ahead and move on back to my calendar spread here. Okay, let's see what we have done. All right, we've had our YouTube premium come out for $13.99. Water for $60.13. Internet was $106.98. And that is it. That's all that came out. Amazon Prime did not come out. I doubt that means that they fixed it on their own. <laughs> all right. We did do our cash stuffing last Friday. Our modus paycheck was posted on Monday. And then today, we did WTF Wednesday. Happy first day of spring, guys. That's awesome. Okay. So, be expecting on Friday my YouTube cash stuffing. That, that means the YouTube paycheck that I got from you guys, basically, for watching my videos, for watching the ads, and all of that jazz. So, be expecting that video to drop on Friday, which is going to be great. And then we just move into our closeout week. Um, it really can't close out until the very end so chances are like it's going to run into april once we get done closing this month out but anyway you don't care about that right now we are just working with the present which means we've done this and we will see you on friday and just like that we're done we have tracked everything we have tracked every single method and way that we spend money in this household and i feel good and ready for a new week it's very very important so i hope that you guys are inspired at least to do the same and whatever budgeting method that you use just make sure you're tracking those expenses don't let it get behind because you can get in some serious trouble by just ignoring it we don't want that so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you on friday for our youtube cash stuffing and if you're still watching and you're not subscribed please do me a favor go ahead and hit that subscribe button i would love to be your weekly inspiration for your own budgeting journey and with that said i'll see you in the next video as always until next time bye